Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. Uh, this is going to be a video in Azure Data Factory playlist, and uh, the scenario is quite simple. I just want to run a PowerShell script to delete my files and folders in data lake storage. Okay, this is the high level scenario. So for uh, uh, doing this, what and all I would be needing? Okay, I'll show you the script that I have in my uh, Blob storage account. I have a Blob container inside that. Uh, I have a PowerShell script. This PowerShell script is meant to delete the folders in my data lake storage. Okay, I have a data lake storage. Inside this data lake storage, I have a container, and inside that, I have folders. Inside folders, I have subfolders. Okay, so my aim is to delete subfolders or the files within subfolders using a PowerShell script that is there in my blob storage. So. Uh, your um, file in blob storage this that is powershell script in blob storage should be able to access the folders and files in your data lake storage and delete it you, it, it should have the necessary accesses okay so the overall aim is to delete files and folders using powershell script okay uh, from data factory so we can do this using uh, delete activity in azure data factory uh, but we have to use git metadata activity we, we might have to use for each loop everything and all so but this powershell script is going to be quite simple but in order for me to execute any powershell script right i need to make sure i have proper uh, accesses and i need to first create a batch account okay inside the batch account we will be uh, needing pools okay inside pools we will be creating jobs these jobs will be automatically created when we run the pipeline okay jobs will be creating tasks and and those tasks will be assigned to nodes nodes are the actual compute engines okay this and all i'll be showing you when i run the pipeline uh, if, if you want to have a very good understanding of these concepts i re recommend you to install batch explorer i have already shown this in one of my earlier videos where i discussed the python script execution so just go back and uh, have a look at how do we install um, batch explorer and how do we make use of it and all all right i'll show you the actual script that i have in my blob storage path now so I'll go to my blob. Inside that I straight away have my PowerShell script in the demo container. I have a demo container. I have a PowerShell script, right? So um, this script is quite simple. It's going to just delete the folders in my data lake storage. But before I can delete anything, I need to prove my authentication, authenticity, right? So for that, this line is used. Connect as your account. Use device authentication. This will be triggering or giving me a um keyword or a, a code during runtime which i have to paste in a browser window okay link also will be generated automatically during runtime so this and all is manual process when i use my personal account okay if i do the same thing in um in, in an organizational account we have certain commands to bypass this manual intervention okay we can automate this process uh, by providing the credentials uh, um, uh, straight away in the code itself okay um you can ask how secure it is we are not going to touch upon that right now i just want to make the process clear okay if i have a personal account i can't automate this authentication process and i need to uh, make use of the device authentication flag okay this will be providing me a url and a, a secret code to be provided in that url to prove my authenticity why do i have to prove my authenticity because my powershell script should be able to delete my folders so it should have proper accesses right so for that we need to do this and then i have to provide a context this is nothing but um, where my um, files are residing or folders are residing which is the container name of my data lake storage so this is the uh, i mean not container this is the storage account name of my data lake storage and then i will provide my storage account key okay this is the context this has to be said otherwise this code is not going to work and then followed by that i have as many remove commands as possible or how how much ever folders or files i need to delete i'll have those many uh, combinations of remove statements okay this is nothing but uh, it is going to uh, delete uh, the folder test one which is there in the test delete folder which is present in my demo container so file system is nothing but my container name inside that container i have a test delete folder inside that i have my subfolders called test one and test two okay this force will let me uh, delete the folders without getting user confirmation all right um, so before we delete any file or folder we used to uh, get user confirmation right this will be avoided if you use this flag 
hyphen force okay if you are not going to use this uh, this your script is going to uh, run on and on until you terminate this because it will be waiting for user input or user update okay so this is the partial script i will be showing you the uh, data factory part of it what and all we would need so from data factory i need a custom activity inside that i need a linked service for batch account okay so this batch account will be uh, uh, having a url so from where i can find this you can go to your batch account and then in the overview section you can find that url this is the url okay and then there is a key access key so from where i can get the access key there is a key section in the same window wherein you can get primary and secondary access keys so i can copy and paste it here and you will need a pool name so for that you need to create a pool first so how do i create a pool go to the batch account and then go to pools and then click on add you will be able to create a pool okay you will have to choose certain things here i'll just show you my configuration so that uh, you can just follow the same thing okay this is my pool name and you can just make a note of uh, the operating system i use the virtual machine size i use and the dedicated nodes this and all are the basic uh, configuration you would need when you create a pool this is mandatory once you create a pool you will have to copy and paste the pool name in the link service okay and then associate a uh, link service uh, associate a storage associate a uh, blob storage link service with the batch account every batch account needs a storage account so just associate one blob storage account with it so once you do this step 1 is completed and step 2 is nothing but directly calling the powershell script in your azure storage which you have linked in the azure batch account okay so uh, inside this i am just calling directly my delete powershell.ps1 Uh, inside the this is uh, residing in my demo container as i showed you inside my batch account uh, i mean inside my blob storage i have a demo container inside my demo container i have this delete powershell dot ps1 that is what i am mentioning here so demo container inside the demo container i am calling my powershell script by mentioning powershell dot exe delete powershell dot ps1 okay so this is all we need from data factory perspective apart from this we would need something called um start task okay so on inside the pool we need to make sure the azure libraries are installed for us to uh, execute the command so i showed you a, a script right that is calling connect azure account or remove azure uh, account so i'll show you once again for your reference for us to execute these commands successfully uh, for instance connect azure account this is one azure command this is one azure command this and all if we need to execute we need to have appropriate libraries created right so for that we need to make sure we are installing it up front before executing these uh, commands okay for that what we need to do go to batch account go to the pool you created there is something called start account under every pool start task sorry start task so inside start task i need to mention certain things so i need to install azure module okay so this command i will be providing you in the uh, description section what it is doing it is installing uh, the module called azure dot accounts and then it is uh, setting the execution policy okay uh, this command you will have to provide apart from that you need to make sure the identity chosen is admin because in order for us to execute this command uh, we need to have admin rights otherwise we will the command will fail okay so this thing you need to make sure you are doing it in order to uh, execute the script i told you okay this is mandatory so every time your pool or you execute a pipeline uh, inside your pool the start task will be first executed and then after that start task is completed only your script that you are going to run will be executed in one of the nodes dedicated nodes okay all right so i'll be showing you a sample execution now for that let me go back to my data lake storage create couple of folders here demo container test delete folder i have only test three folder now i'll add a few more folders called test 1 and one more called test 2 okay now let me run my pipeline now 
apart from this we would not need anything so if you have a batch explorer you can see how uh, the nodes are getting um, spawned or nodes are getting executed how the transition happens initially the node will be booting it will be booting and it will be moving to uh, execute the start task activity after the start task activity your actual script will be running so this transition and all you can witness very nicely using color codes and all when you use a batch explorer i can't show it because i don't have it installed properly in this machine uh, i'm sorry for that if there is a chance i'll uh, do it in a uh, different video but let's uh, wait for this i'll show you in the portal itself in portal also you have all the facilities but you can't visually understand what is happening okay so the command is running if i go to uh, see if, if see here uh, it's actually running mm, the node has actually started running okay so the state will be running and inside the node you will be seeing the details of execution so for me what i need right now is i need to look at the jobs okay so for so uh, i have chosen the state to be running so this is the job which is actually running when i click that you will have something called standard error.txt and standard out.txt so when i click on the standard out.txt i will have the code that is generated for me to authenticate this session okay i have to copy this code and click the link provided so the link will be opening and then i will be pasting the code now okay i have to copy it i'm sorry i didn't copy i have to copy it and paste it there this will be authenticating or authorizing your script to delete or go ahead and delete the folder okay so i have to choose the corresponding account i have to say continue this will be uh, providing the required authentication all right so once that is done i can go back here i can refresh so this is the first step in authenticating or authorizing so once that is done uh, my script will be trying to delete my folders that i created in the demo container so let me refresh it see the folders are gone so this way i can uh, automate or uh, as i told you i will be providing you the required script to automate this authentication process uh, for you to try in your organizational account okay so i will just refresh this if i refresh uh, the script was actually in active state and then it moved to running state and then it got completed okay uh, so the same way only you will be seeing in the batch explorer as well but with much better visualization all right so if there is any error you can look at the standard error.txt the links to these files you 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 will not be able to find the find it in the first instance itself where can i go and find these files i i do not know or i did not follow you uh, when you landed here so for that go back to your pipeline check your execution result you will be seeing the url to the um, text files generated okay so this is the simple thing that i wanted to show you it might be useful for you if you have to uh, do something in powershell from data factory okay so thanks a lot for watching i'll be providing more such content uh, in the upcoming sessions i'll try to address more scenarios real time scenarios using powershell uh, if you have any such experience also i request you to post it in the comment section Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, do drop me your uh, questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer uh, if I know or uh, uh, or else if I find answer. Thanks a lot. Uh, keep supporting. Mm, subscribe if you haven't subscribed so far.